On today's video, what we're going to talk about is video scrubbing. So as you can see, if we scroll down this website at a certain point, what we'll get is an area where we scroll up and down and this video plays forwards and backwards, depending on if we're scrolling up and down on the page itself. So this is a common effect you'll see on a lot of different websites, especially the kind of kings and queens of web design, which are Apple. Apple do this a ton. So if you look at something like the MacBook Air website, as you scroll down the page, this is just a video that's playing in the background. There's nothing special. There's no kind of fancy JavaScript or WebGL. This is just a video that's pre-rendered and we're just playing backwards and forwards, depending on where the scroll position is. So in today's video, we're gonna talk all about how Apple do this and how we can do it on our own websites too. So let's start somewhere. So firstly, we have a website that looks like this without the video here. The video is basically gonna go between these two sections, but what we wanna do is put this in. Now, firstly, a big shout out to Crystal Sim who did the design for the site. It looks really, really great. Made it a lot easier for me to actually just add in these sections very, very quickly. But let's have a quick look at the HTML and CSS. So HTML and CSS looks fairly simple. So we've got our header at the top. We've got a section, an intro section. We're gonna put the video in here in a minute. And then we have this like savvy section, which is this bit down here, and then a footer at the bottom. I've also added a script tag for scrubbing.js, which currently is empty. We're gonna add some stuff into that in a minute. And then in style.css, we've got some basic stuff in here. So we've got our reset, some uh, typography, some colors, and then our usual kind of stuff, some general kind of tags. And then we've got our kind of specific areas down here as well. So what do we want to do to begin? Now, what we want to do to begin with is basically stick in a video. So we're going to do a video which isn't based on scrubbing. It's just basically a video. So what we have in our project is we've got vid.mp4. I'm going to add this into my, where has it gone? My uh, div with, uh, sorry, my section with the class of video. So let's just quickly put in our video. Video is a tag and we're going to give this a source of vid.mp4. Now this is just going to basically give us this kind of playing video here. It's not doing anything at the moment because there's no autoplay, there's no controls on it. So what we want to do is start to add some of that in. So to do this, we're going to add some attributes into our HTML to basically make it work. Now I'm going to do autoplay. I'm going to make it muted. I'm going to put it on loop. I'm going to put it on plays in line. And we're going to add some controls on it to begin with as well. So if I save this now, what we have is this basically auto playing video. It's not the full width. I'm going to make it full width a little bit later, but we have this video that plays. You know, I'm not touching anything. We can see it being auto played by default. Now you might be wondering why I put it muted and plays in line. This is just to make it work really easily on iOS. Uh, iOS only will put this and make it play if it's muted and it plays in line and potentially on the loop as well. So what we've got here is basically kind of like an animated GIF at the moment. But what we want to do is style this up towards it being this kind of autoplay. Now to do this, what I'm also going to put this video tag in is just some kind of like holder. I'm going to put a div in here and I'm going to wrap it around video. And I'm going to give this a class of holder. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is because when I scroll down, I want the video to have something to scroll into. So this section with the class of vid is basically going to be the thing that it scrolls into where the holder is going to be the container for the video itself. So I'm going to style these two things up next. So in my style sheet, I haven't got anything in here around video. So I'm going to do this. Basically, we'll do it before the footer because that's kind of like the logical order. So we'll do a section dot video, is it vid or video? Vid. Um, let's start at the video first. Let's make it the full width, width 100%, but let's also make it the full height that it's gonna be as well. Now, if I do this full width and full height, it might kind of distort it. So I wanna just basically cut things off, make it the correct aspect ratio. I'm gonna use object fit and make it cover this entire area. So rather than it kind of looking a bit skewed, this will make it look a little bit nicer. So what we'll get is something like this. Now this is gonna be the right height and the right width. We can see it's looking pretty good, but there's nothing to scroll into at the moment. So what we're gonna do is give this section.vid a height. Now I'm just gonna give this a height of something like 3000 pixels for now, just to see if this works. So we'll save this and what we'll get is this video be in the right place. 
And then we'll have this kind of white area underneath, which is the kind of area that we'd scroll into. Now this area is basically gonna be the thing that we wanna kind of control the scrubbing across, but we can't see the video right now to scrub into. So what we're gonna do is add on this div holder that I've got around this. I just want it to kind of follow in this area. So in my section div, I've got a vid, I've got a div with the class of holder. I'm gonna make this position sticky and I want this to be sticky top zero. So what this will do is it will hold this area in play until it basically gets to the bottom. So this should follow us down the page. Now we can't really see this in the scroll bar. I'm just gonna highlight the scroll bar. We can see this is now 3000 pixels worth of scrolling that I have. This video is auto playing. It's doing the thing that we actually expected it to, but we're not really controlling it with JavaScript. We're basically saying this is auto play. But what we want to do is tie it to the scroll bar next. So the goal of what we want to do is as we scroll down the page, we want as soon as we get to about here, then the video to start scrubbing. And as we scroll down through the kind of like area, we want it to stop at the end. So basically what we want to do is find the scroll position of the entire page. So if I'm here or here or here, we want to know that number. We want to know the distance it can scroll into and then basically play the video as a percentage of that area we're scrolling into. So to do this, we're gonna add some JavaScript because we wanna do this when we scroll. So I've added in a script already. This is called scrubbing.js and I've added it at the bottom of my script here, my script source scrubbing.js. This is currently empty. So I need the two things here. I want to have the area that I'm scrolling it into and the video itself. So two things I need, I'm gonna get the section that I'm talking about, which is my document. We're gonna do a query selector. What do we wanna select? This section. Which section? The one dot div. Next, what we want to do is get the video from that as well. So I'm gonna get a constant called vid, and this is equal to, in that section, there's a query selector, and we'll get the video tag from that. Now, what do we wanna do, first of all, is actually take that video and pause it. Now, I'm gonna keep autoplay on here. So in my video tag, I've got, so where is it gone? Autoplay. And this is just basically if the JavaScript fails for whatever reason, it looks pretty good as it is, but if it doesn't work for whatever reason, it, you know, we'll do the opposite. So here I'm gonna say vid pause. So using JavaScript, I'm now controlling my video. So if I save this now and go back to my site, what we'll see is the video pauses at the first frame, even if I'm scrolling up and down. So this is doing what the JavaScript says, but what I want to do is control the video's position, its current time, based on something. What I want to control it on is the scroll. So I'm gonna make a function here, const scroll. And this is gonna be a function, round brackets, arrow, curly brackets. Now I wanna run this on page load, and I also wanna run it whenever I scroll on the page. So I'm gonna run this on scroll, which is basically as soon as I run the page and window dot add event listener. What do I wanna listen out for? Scroll. What do I wanna do when I do a scroll event? Well, I wanna run this function called scroll. What does scroll do though? Well, it depends on what we've decided it to. So here, what I wanna do is basically work out where we are on the page and basically the percentage of the video in, in the scroll. So I'm gonna open up my curly brackets and I'm gonna save a constant called distance. This distance is gonna be equal to what? Well, the window dot scroll y. How far have we scrolled down the page? Now, if we look at our website particularly, we're not starting at the top, like our video isn't tied to the top. We actually wanna find out where the, kind of this area is, where the, basically the top of the section is. And I wanna take this away from this distance because I wanna start at zero. So I'm gonna take this away, section dot offset top. I wanna to take the section that we're talking about, the video section, and remove it from the scroll position because it's further down the page than the top. The next thing you want to do is find out the total distance here. So the total distance we're scrolling into, total. This is gonna be equal to what? Well, we want to get that section and find out how tall it is. Section dot client height. But there's a problem with this. 
Now, the problem that we have is if we scroll down this, we want to start at the top here. So when we hit the top, which is now, and then again, if I watch my scroll bar, I want to go to the bottom of this section. But when I'm talking about scroll, it's only really tied to the top. So what I want to do is when I hit here, I want to get not the height of it, which is all the way down to the bottom. I want to then take away how tall the browser is to get this area, not this bottom area instead. So I'm going to take away the height of the window, window.inner height. And what this will do is it will give me a percentage. I've got the total distance that we're scrolling into and then the total area. So here, what I'm going to do is let percentage be equal to the distance divided by the total. Now, you might be wondering, why do I do one as const and one as let? Well, what I want to make sure is that if we go below zero or above one, which is starting the end of the video, that we're kind of like clamping it to those things. So I'm going to basically overwrite percentage and say percentage again. Let's update percentage to make sure that it's equal to, well, I don't want it to be less than zero. So math.max zero comma percentage. So if percentage is minus one, the maximum of minus one and zero is zero. Basically say, don't go below zero. But I also want it to make sure it's not above one as well. So percentage is equal to math min of percentage comma one. So what we're doing here is just saying, work out this kind of distance as a percentage, but then clamp it to the edges of zero and 100% essentially. The next thing we want to do is basically say, well, I want to work out where this video should play. I've got the percentage, but what I want to do is make sure that I can play this. So I want to make sure that the video has something to scroll into, make sure it's loaded. So if vid duration is bigger than zero, so it's loaded a video, we want to say the next vid dot current time is equal to what? Well, we know the percentage and we know that the video has a duration. So what we want to do is say, let's get the video's duration and then multiply it using that asterisk percentage. So if we're at the top of the scroll, what we'll say is we're at the start. And if we're at the bottom of the scroll, then we're at the end. So let's see if this works. Let's save and let's go back to the video. Now, if I scroll up and refresh, what we'll see now is this starts to work. There we go. Now this has the controls on here. So if we were playing it, this would also play the controls as well. But I want to remove those controls because I don't need them anymore. We're controlling our video with this. So what I'm going to do is just quickly go to my index.html, remove controls. You'll see them at the bottom, but we don't need them anymore. So they've gone from this bottom. We have this working as expected now and we have this video scrolling. Now, one thing that you might have seen on the MacBook site is occasionally you'll see this text, which is selectable on here as well. So how do we get things like HTML over the video? So we could put them into the video, the content in there, but we might want to put some buttons or some links or some forms in here as well. So we can just quickly add this in and just style it up in the same way. Now, what I've done is I've quickly added some HTML up here. I'm just going to copy and paste this in to my section. So in here, I'm going to do this after our holder. So this is still within my section itself. I've got this class of story. So what we're going to do next is just style this up. What we'll see at the moment is this just lives at the bottom. Oh, no, it doesn't. It lives actually kind of like halfway down the page, but we'll style it up properly in a sec. So in my style sheet, I'm just going to do this story. So section dot vid div dot story. We're going to put this over everything. We're going to do position absolute in the top left corner. We'll make it 100% width as well. Now, because I'm using position absolute, I want to tie this to the video itself. So on this section vid, I'm going to put in position relative here. Now, what this will do is it will just put some text in this top corner right now. We can just see it there. It doesn't look great, but what we'll do is we'll start to style this up. Now, I want to make this div.story the right color. So I'm going to add some color and I've got a, a secondary color there I can use. There we go. It's in white. 
And what I want to do in my style sheet is take each of these div tags, give it a height and move it into the middle. So here, section dot div div dot story. There's lots of divs inside of it. What I'm going to do is make each one have a height of 100 V H and let's add display flex align items. Let's put them in the middle and let's put justify content center as well. And this will just put them in the middle of each section. And what we can also do is also give oh height. Yep, that's all right. Yep, yep, yep. That's all good. Um, let's actually make the height of the entire thing now match this up. So what I've got in here is one, two, three, four, five, six of these different stories. Each one takes up 100 VH. So here, what I could do is change the section vid rather than being 300 pixels. It could be 600 V h to match and what we'll get now is something that looks a lot nicer i might want to align these in the middle for instance so maybe this is going to be text align center as well rather than left align and they'll sit in the middle so what we'll get now is this effect where what we can do is overlay a video with just normal standard html kind of almost like a video background and a video scrubber as well so what we've got now is basically the same effect as what app will do we're using a little bit of javascript and it's basically 20 lines of javascript to find out how far are we down the page what is the distance we're trying to scroll into work it out as a percentage and then basically say where the percentage is on the video and what we'll get is a video scrubber so i hope you enjoyed this video on video scrubbing again this is a really effective technique that big big companies like apple use all the time and if you enjoyed this video again please give us a like and again if there's anything you want me to cover in the future please add it in the comments below i'd love to hear and i'd love to know all about all the things that you want me to cover in future videos talk about future videos there should be two more that you can watch right here, right now.